Eric Christensen joining us tonight. And Eric, a big reason why CU is in that spot is because of the play of senior guard McKinley Wright. You know, Tad Boyle's had his fair share of pretty good players up in Boulder. Spencer Dinwiddie, Derek White, Andre Robertson. But I'm not sure any of them have had the kind of impact that McKinley Wright has had. He's CU's all-time leader in assists. The only Pac-12 player ever with over 1,700 points, 600 rebounds, and 600 assists. So McKinley has created quite a legacy for himself on the court. But to truly appreciate the senior point guard from Minnesota, you have to understand the adversity he's overcome outside of basketball. My coaches, man. McKinley Wright wasn't the only one to get emotional during the final homestand of his career. McKinley Wright is uh, hes going to go down as one of the greatest players in Colorado basketball history. And uh, what he's done from where he's come from, what he's overcome is its really, really special. Ken's final three games in Boulder were vintage. A career-high 14 assists and a win over SC. Shovels off, forward to the rim, on the break. A season-high 26 points and the Buffs win over the Bruins. McKinley Wright for three. And he staked his claim as the best point guard in the Pac-12, thoroughly outplaying Remy Martin in a win over ASU. Count it, whistle and a foul. His performances prompted a well-deserved hug from his coach and a round of applause from his family who was watching him play for the first time this year. It was hard. It was hard. We have your bags ready, and then they say it's canceled, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, we was ready to come, but they kept canceling, year. so, but. It's a terrible year. I'm, I'm so happy to be back. Watching McKinley play is something the family, especially his father. Yes, my boy, easy, man. Doesn't take Let's for go. granted. McKinley Wright III was arrested for selling drugs and sent to prison when his son was just eight years old. Me being that young and not knowing the system and not knowing how things work, um, I didn't necessarily think it would be a, as long as it was. So um, I didn't, I tried not to pay too much attention to it, but you know, as time went on, you know, you start to wonder. So it was devastating. Instead of being angry and bitter, young McKinley Wright IV chose forgiveness and support. Before he was arrested, I seen the love, you know, he had for my mother, you know, the love he had for me and my cousins um, and, and our family as a whole. I'm the fourth and, you know, that's my role model, someone I look up to. It was easy for me to forgive and, and move on and look past and, and move on to the better things in life. He wasn't bouncing a ball. Um, he was he was thinking about his dad. I think his yeah. dad was his strength and his motivation to keep going. But my family bringing him to visit my mom and, you know, they sticking with him. So. That helped me out a lot. You know it that way! Since dad was released in 2017, he's following in his son's footsteps, showing Ken the same kind of support he received. Now that your dad's out, he shows up at your games, rocking your jersey, cheering louder than anyone in the arena. How's that feel? Uh, it feels great, man. It's, it's, it's a dream come true. You know, he never got to see me at my middle school play ball in person. In high school, didn't get to see me. And then when I got to college, um, it was the first uh, first time you got to see me live um, and, and playing against high-level competition. So to have his support, you know, see him in the stands with my family yelling and screaming, uh, it means everything. For me. In the corner, good ball move, McKinley for three, right between the eyes. For McKinley to overcome what he has and excel at CU is the stuff of legends. It's easy to see what he means to the buffs, but that pales in comparison to the role he plays in his family. What does McKinley mean to this family? <laughs> everything. Everything. He's just, man, he's everything to the family. And as proud as dad is of son's basketball accomplishments, he lit up when talking about McKinley becoming the first right to graduate from college. Ken is scheduled to get his degree in ethnic studies sometime this year. I tell you what, it's really impressive, not only what he's done on the floor, but the ambassador that he has been for that university during his time in Boulder. Great piece, Eric. He says that he and Evan are going to come back and take Tad's <laughs> job and coach a CU buff someday, so we may not be done with McKinley right in Boulder. I think buff fans would be okay <laughs> That's with right. that. For sure.